All right, folks, so if you're having trouble with your doors not opening on your Stuart and Stevenson cab over military truck, uh, these are likely to be the culprit. I really had a lot of trouble finding these uh, too much, I think, and I'll give you a kind of a rundown on what to expect. These are going on my M1090, which is a dump truck, but they're basically the same thing as the uh, all the FM TV, LM TV, MTV uh, class uh, trucks. And they basically all use the same door hardware as far as I know. And so anyway, so this is what was in there. And basically this interface is a little uh, door rod. There you go. This is what uh, basically I found when I got into the door and found some of the uh, door latch and door handle actuator rods interface. They, uh, these little clips basically tie the one of the door rod ends or the linkages excuse me into the uh, the mechanics in there and the tabs break off and basically what you have when you go to unlatch the door it causes these rods to move and so on the other end of the rod it basically uses these clips to secure to the latching mechanism and to the locking mechanism and so the original clip is basically one of these guys and this is broken and these two are actually broken. One of them wasn't, but I, when I went to take it out to, to show you guys, uh, it actually broke. They get brittle and old. It's kind of a bad design, but um, that's what we got. So anyway, they basically, they come off the end like so. You can see there's like a little recess in the end of them. Let's see, there you go. There's a little recess in the end of them. And basically the clips go into... Uh, part of the door latch mechanism through a little hole and then once these are installed you basically just push the rod in and I'm not going to push it all the way in but basically you push it in until it snaps and it's captured and so anyway when when I found that these were broken I thought okay well no big deal I'll just go online and I'll order some more uh, the problem was that uh, basically all of the ones that are common in automotive use are different size. So these, for instance, these were used in, uh, I think, uh, some kind of Porsche or something, Volkswagen, Porsche, something like that. And then there's also, um, a similar one that's used in Chrysler, uh, and Jeeps. And again, uh, for a different, uh, door rod size, actually the, the military, uh, trucks door rod, uh, seems to be smaller. And so, Let's see if I can rotate this. You'll get a kind of an idea of what we're dealing with here. Um, so, yeah, so if you look here, it's just really loose. And I actually thought about drilling out the latch mechanism holes just to accommodate this, but I think it's just too loose, even though it kind of kind of snaps in place on the end. So, you know, you can see how that works. Um, and so anyway, looking around a bit more, uh, I found these clips on eBay coming from Midwest military equipment. And so I thought, oh, that must, uh, you know, replace the plastic clip. It's an upgrade. Well, what it turns out is that these actually don't fit. You know, it's kind of a loose fit there. And it's certainly not the right size for the, you know, for the rods. Okay. So, yeah. So you can see it's certainly not the right size for the rods. And I think... The way that these are actually meant to be used is in conjunction with these plastic clips. It would be something like, uh, let's see, it would be maybe something like this is how they're meant to be used. The rod would clip in from the side and then the metal latch here would clip onto the rod and it would basically just reinforce the whole assembly. But that doesn't seem to even fit uh, on these. And so this is what, what I ultimately ended up with. And I don't know if you can see it very well here, but, um, I found these at, uh, again, Miss Midwest military equipment. Uh, I s saw them previously, but they were like six or $8 each. And I thought, you know, that's kind of steep for this little plastic clip. And I need a bunch of them, you know, like six of them. I think there's three or four used on each door. And so I hesitated. And then after exhausting all my searches online, you know, and I couldn't find anything, I ended up resorting to just buying these. And so I bought six of them and it ran like 48 bucks. And so I thought, well, I'll be done with it, you know, to replace these original little plastic uh, injection molded clips here. I'll just be done with it. And then when these arrived, 
Uh, these are actually 3D printed out of a plastic. I think it's referred to as TPU. And um, you can see where the rod goes in there. It's this plastic called TPU. And, you know, it's meant to be rubbery and pliable. And so I don't know what the lifespan on these is going to be. And they're kind of rough. You can see there's like some stringiness there. The quality of the print is kind of so-so. One of my boys is into 3D printing and he says, well, with TPU, that's kind of how it is. Um, and so anyway, I managed to get a couple of them in the driver's side door. And so now I'm doing the passenger side door and I'll show you guys how these go in. If anybody out there happens to know where you can get an OEM style, you know, injection molded clip, please leave it in the comments. I'm sure there's a ton of other people that are, you know, searching just like I am for a reasonably priced, uh, well, heck, even if you can get the, get them at the same price as the TPU 3d printed one, you know, factory injection molded part would still be way nicer. Um, and so if you know where to get them, what the measurement is, I'm sure there's other out, others out there with these trucks that would really appreciate it. Cause it doesn't seem like there's any real options. Okay. So this is one of the, uh, uh, door rod clips you can see here. It's actually installed in the backside of this uh, mechanism and then the rod is pushed in uh, to the clip once it's installed so just to be clear because uh, this was a little confusing for me you install the clip into the hole first and then you snap the rod in through the back of the clip and that basically pushes those little ears out that you can see there and the whole thing is kind of uh, retained and so anyway if you look Back in here, you can see one of the other rod clips. Here you go. So you can see the this other rod clip here, or not the clip, but the hole. And there's another rod that needs the clip installed in the hole and the rod basically fits in there like that. You can see that there. Pretty good. So I'll go ahead and install the clip and then I'll push the rod in and then show you again. All right, so you can see I've got one of the clips fully installed there. Basically, you just push the clip into the hole and then uh, with the uh, clip, slot facing downward um, then you push in the rod from the end and it kind of snaps into place and that's basically it so again i don't know how long these are going to hold up they're 3d printed I, again i think they're tpu um, but uh, this is the option that exists okay so you can see i've got this upper one here without the the uh, rod in it and the slot is facing downward and so i'll go ahead and push in the rod so that you can see how that works Okay, well, you can see the rod partway installed. I'm going to have to uh, do this off camera because I can't do it with uh, just one hand. Okay, and there again, we've got the rod installed. Um, it kind of helps to wiggle the uh, rod up and down or uh, wiggle the uh, latch uh, arm up and down uh, while you push the rod into place so that it can kind of uh, work its way past those uh, four fingers. Um, but once it's in, it seems to hold pretty good. You'd want to also make sure that the bent ends of your rods are at least at 90 degrees or possibly a little bit hooked because that seems to reduce the likelihood that uh, the rubber deforms and the thing pops out of place. But other than that, that's it. So again, if anybody has a source for these uh, clips where uh, they use the OEM style injection molded pieces, that'd be great. For now, TPU ones from Midwest military equipment are the only option that I can see out there. So uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. appreciate you guys. Till next time.